You can only deny a calling on your life for so long, and I know being allied with defeat was wrong, but only because of how far it had knocked me down. I watched the hostile takeover of my family, the infiltration of my heart. I watched my dreams become casualties and relationships fall apart. So in the midst of the battle, I cried out. Don't pull me off the floor if what it takes is dirt to my face. It shouldn't have taken me so long to get here in the first place. Lord, I surrender. With my white flag hoisted high, I needed to vacate this imprisonment of lies. Father, I will no longer moonlight for your contender. I'm still healing from friendly fire, targeting things in my head, casting them down in Jesus' name and putting those lies to bed. I stayed up instead of pray up. Forgetting I served a God that covered the midnight shift. So I'm calling in the Calvary, Mr. Adversary, this is it, you can't have me. We've operated through the restrictions of spiritual handcuffs. We've been lied to, distracted and derailed long enough. You're being invaded by perfect love. So from this day forward, I declare war. Because if there's one thing I know for sure, there's more purpose behind what this heart beats for. And you cannot win. Because I haven't forgotten about the power that God has placed within. Despite all the things that I'm up against, I'm fighting the good fight. Even at the risk of being less teddy and more grisly because the enemy preys on apathetic Christianity. No draft necessary. Lord, I give you the best in me. I'm no longer strategizing with indifference. I'm done being more lullaby than lion, more silent than soldier, consoled by the fog of your shifty maneuvers. I'm standing on the strength of a victor, and I'm putting myself on the front line because I know for as long as my flesh will take the fall, I'm striving towards something divine. The trenches need numbers, and I'm on the road traveled by few, not just the ranks of God followers, but the committed to the relentless pursuit, just as he sought after us. Knowing the world would yell, crucify, crucify, it came as a surprise how anyone could have said, send me. So I will testify, testify with everything burning inside because I don't know why he would do that for me. I was expensive. So how long will we thrift shop for peace? How long will we hand me down victory? When he said life more abundantly, there's no asterisk saying except for me, so why act like it? War is expensive, but his sacrifice for me was COD, so I claim this domain is his and declare that I'm free because I wanna be in that number. So I'll be an active member of his troops. Call me what he's inscribed on in my heart's arsenal and I'll answer to his truth. Call me a warrior for Christ, a woman of faith, a child of God for his glory and for my own sake. I'll call my past the scars of a believer and I'll chuck it up to the nature of the fight. And because it's not about me at all, remember it's about his power and his might. So now Victory and I are well acquainted, better yet on a first name basis. I greet him like a long lost friend and I'm no longer nerved by his embraces. And it's all because God met me in the middle of forfeit. And he asked me, do you believe? And the one that's over heaven and hell has possessions of its keys because who the sun sets free is free indeed. So the next time the enemy wants to check me, you tell him, I'm waging war. Thank you.